Hello and welcome back to Queen's Wish 2 and to probably the last episode. Well, you will probably see that in the video title already. We already talked to all the Razas here and we are now prepared to go to this circle here in Prova Crook and there we will probably talk to them again and they will decide whether or not they will rebel against us. So let's see. New approach to the inner circle of Prover Crook. Here disputes are settled. They are resolved in the old way of the Rokai. Or Rokaj. That is why you see little splatters of blood everywhere. Some old, some very recent. The stone circle was erected around a pillar in the center, etched with runes. Before it, they have placed the banner of Haven. You recognize it. It was stolen from it in front of your hall in Fort Meadow 4. As you enter, warriors start to file in behind you. Didn't I return that banner? Well, it was probably another banner. They are a lot eager and a little frightened. They, the curse of their history is about to be decided. Some of them stare at you with icy hatred, probably getting ready to fight you. Rasa Suharum stands in the middle of the circle next to your banner. He has to shout to be heard over the winds. The conquerors come. The challenge has been answered. Step forward and we can begin. Who will challenge? All right, before we do that, let's run around a little bit here. Warrior of the row, warrior of the row. Mm -hmm. Dagon Raider. All right, Raza La Vita. Let's talk to Raza La Vita. The circle of the Prover Krug is the highest, most exposed point of the mountain. It is murderously cold and windy. Nobody up here has the energy for conversation. The gathered warriors wait for you to walk to the middle of the circle so that the final meeting can begin. You approach the center of the circle. Behind you, dozens of row warriors march in. Then they are joined by the Rasas, who take their positions around the circle. The angry warriors of the Rukaj surround you on all sides, staring at you through the mists and snow. Raza Suharum takes his place at the north edge of the circle. He raises his hand for silence. For centuries, Haven has ruled over the Rukaj. It has been challenged. Some of us say that Haven is too weak to rule us. Now they are called to show their courage and strength, to show that they are worthy to command our proud land. Prince Cordon of Haven, you have come to answer this challenge. Seems like I don't have a choice. I am ready. He nods. Some of the row already nervously have their hands on their weapons. The gates are closed. We can begin. It is time to prove your strength. Trial by combat of savage rail to rule a nation. There's quite much ring. Raza Suharum only smiles. It guarantees that we are led by the brave and the strong. It has sustained our people since long before Haven came and it will sustain us after you are gone. I'm ready, go on. The Razas of the four provinces are here. Each may choose to challenge you. You must fight them in the circle. If you leave the circle, we will just throw you back in again. On Prover Crook, all duels are to the death. When one fair falls, we are all duty bound to make sure their life ends. It is the way of the row, all not. It is the way of Prover Crook, the great testing place, all not. Rasa Elha stands by her wolf, watching for signs of treachery. Her warriors gather tight around her. You have no question that they want to fight. You have me massively outnumbered. There's laughter. Even Rasa Swarum smiles. You are a prince of the mighty empire with all of your skills and magical protections. We have seen what you can do. If you can't face us, Haven is unworthy. I see nobody here worthy to challenge me. <laughs> First, I have a few things to say. I've changed my mind. I want to go home. <laughs> I have a few things to say. 
No, there have been days of debate up here, planning, argument about the past, the future. Words and more words, it has gotten us nowhere. Now the debate must be solved with will and strength. Hmm, let's go on with it. Swarum nods. This is Prover Krug, where the great debates are settled. Whatever fate we face, we will do things the proper way. It is time for challenges. Will you challenge me, Suharum? A long pause. Is Suharum actually thinking about it? Then he shakes his head. I have been constant since the beginning. If we try to rebel now, we will lose. We will lose the war and we will lose the ability to rebel again. Raza Elha says, no, even if we lose now, the war will preserve our spirit. We must. Raza Suharum cuts her off. Silence. You had your chance to argue, Ella. At last, mercifully, we get a rest from your words. The Hylitha does not take part in the challenge. Who will speak next? It is silence. As the snow falls, the other three Rasas look at each other, deciding who will go first. And finally, the newest of the Rasas, Rabila, steps forward. Rasa Swaram says, the Kranos Woods has something to say. Rabila looks at you. He's terrified. All can see it. You fill everyone here with terror. Rabila, for the moment, fails to hide it. You note a familiar face nearby. Prosa Paxa, the mighty keeper of the groves, has accompanied him to prove a croup. I await your words. Raza Rabila clears his throat. Haven has shown great neglect to all lands. Queen Sharon sent a child to see our situation, to cure the ills that have been done to us. You have done good deeds for the Kranas. You saved Terror Man and removed corrupt governor Yvette. However, your words to our people and other at other times have made our clans doubt you. They demand, I do this and I must listen to their calls. Raza Rabila says, we must join in the challenge. Raza Elha nods approvingly. Ah, you have made a horrible mistake. Raza Rabila ignores your words. He backs out of the circle. He refuses to meet your gaze. Prosepexa steps into the circle. So do several stalkers and druids of the Kranas Woods. Their weapons are out, blood is in their eyes. Rasasuarum shakes his head sadly. Let the challenge begin. All may show their strength. Alright. Save. Buff. Kramas Caller. So, yeah. That's uh, what you're getting for helping them. Um, but, I mean, basically it's fine, right? I mean, because I have the power to load and save anyways, and I will win anyways. So, actually, everyone who is just doubting me by a little bit... Uh, I mean, if they are gone, I have got one problem less for the future, I guess. Um, so, f 487. Okay, that's nothing. That's nothing. Okay, but this is not Elha yet. This is just this one group. Okay. And they will kick me back into the circle they mentioned. Okay. So, um, let's see if we can take them over. Man resist 60%. 60% or 60% I guess yeah okay um, let's start by summoning that one all right I think the druid is probably the most problematic one why isn't this Raza fighting me Rabila Hmm. Shouldn't he die as well then? Hmm. Okay, I need to make a good move here. And I'm not quite sure if I'm kicked out if I go there. No, yeah, that's fine. And we got our mage again. All right, now there's a seeker, also probably a mage. So let's try and 
disable them. Stun resist. Now here we can take someone over. Yes. Okay. We can use this ability again, but because we will probably face another battle, we might want to be... Well, let's do it one more time. Get them down first and then we will see. Um, stun resist 90%. That was a nice hit. And we've got another stun. Um, or not stun. We will try to get them away because they will probably attack the element first. Nice. And let's take over this archer if possible. No, don't resist. Yeah, our speed bonus is so massive. Bams! Goodbye. Yeah. Alright. Mm. Should we actually try and take to take over another one? I think that's not even necessary anymore. There's a caller. This is a stalker. No idea what the stalker can do. Um Yeah, let's try and just attack normally. And okay, we need to clear that. Ah, poison resistant. <laughs> Didn't even do anything. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's try and kill them first. Joins the fight. Ah, uh, that's fine. Mm hmm. Switch steps. Ola needs to die next. Stay just in range. Um, that should be fine. I would have assumed that they will all attack me at the same time and not one after another. Much of a sh challenge so far. Okay, let's keep him alive for now so that he will do some more. Uh, okay, maybe not. Alright. Mm 
<laughs> I mean that we got him right away was a bit lucky. Okay. Save. Next. A few warriors drag the dead out of the circle. The blood freezes solid almost instantly in the cold. There is a long period of respectful silence. All row present clasp their hands in front of them, respecting the courage of the Kranos warriors. Eventually, Raza Soharum steps forward. Haven has shown strength. We are, shall proceed. Who wishes to speak now? Raza Lavita of the Low Daga steps forward. Raza Lavita, it is your turn. Will your warriors test Haven's strength? I could use a break. <laughs> you mean Governor Lavita. Don't send your warriors to their deaths. Uh, I could use a break. Okay, well, just listen, I guess. Um, I, yeah, I mean, if he betrays me at this point, then he probably deserves to die. Just listen. Raza Lavita stands still for a moment, gathering his thoughts. Perhaps he has waited until this moment to make his decision. Though Haven answered my petition, and we are grateful, they have not showed adequate respect to the Rukai. We do not think this rebellion is wise. However, we think that Haven should be forced to demonstrate its strength. You are betraying me, Governor? Not at all. I am giving you an opportunity. Once you have shown your strength, I will have no trouble convincing my people to not aid the rebels. It is for the best. Help me to help you. Well, if they challenge me, they deserve to die. I'm ready. Raza Lavita steps out of the circle. Warriors of the Lodaga, blades drawn, clad in heavy armor, step forward to challenge you. Yeah, Rabila is still alive. That's not fair. Hmm. Pillar, Raider, Archer, Wizard. Alright. Alright. Man, Urus is 60. 60. Mm hmm. Nah, maybe we get another chance. We need to kill the sages first, or the wizard, or whatever. Wizard, let's ki kill the wizard first. Or can we stun? Uh, stun resist sixty-five percent. Uh, how much hit points? So many hit points. Three hundred. Okay, that should be. Fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Yes. Points the fight. They would be gone there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bleeding. Another one. Okay. Let's focus on that wizard. And... No. Okay, should die with the bleeds here. Yeah. Red points left. All right, next one is the caster. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. 
Yes. I don't want to use more energy. Evasion and Spell Shield. Um, that's not nice. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, I want don't want to to waste my attacks there. So instead, I will just switch over for now. There's evasion, so we can kill that guy. Now nah, the healing potions are not really that great. Okay, now we really need to kill that guy. I mean, spell shield is active. is still active. Let's kill the scorpion first. Or actually, let's kill that guy first with the magic attacks. Ouch. to lose this guy very soon. I don't I don't think that I will actually attack this neutral one but uh, let's not risk it mm. it's not worth the heal yet let's try to Stun them. Nope. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, I want to kill this one, uh, but I don't want to move over so that we get, don't get cleaved. Still three turns, so yeah, we might need to use <laughs> level up. Okay. Um, uh, we should probably heal now. I mean, this is not going anywhere, so battle medic. Yeah, nice. I mean, he will yeah, kill that one and maybe has one more attack. I mean, evasion and spell shield is active. Okay. All toast. Next. The dead of the Lodaga are dragged out of the circle. There is a long moment of silence. Then the surviving Lodagans start a low chant. In time, all other roads join them. There are no words, no tune, just a long, low, vocal drone. No doubt, their sacrifice will be memorial memorialized in song and story for centuries to come. When the drone ends, Raza Elha nods with approval. A glorious sight, we will win, as she whispers. Rather, Soharum gives her an angry look and steps forward again. One province remains to be heard from. The gentle coast, wealthiest land of the Rokai, Rokaj, beloved of Haven. Raza Ella, you are the leader there. What say you? Raza Ella steps forward, her mighty wolf joins her. I choose to withdraw. Well, Ella, do you plan to fight me? She smiles calmly as more warriors join her in the circle. They are children of the gentle coast, smooth-skinned and well-nourished, yet you see lust for violence in their eyes. I don't need a challenge, I'm a prince of Haven and I bring Haven's justice! Watch them enter. They all take their places around the circle. Raza Elha looks ser serene, she takes a deep breath. So we come to the end. The wolf and her pack. All of you remember us. Remember the true way of the role. I cast aside all luxuries, all power. I wish freedom or death. If you'd come to me honestly, I might have been able to help you. Mm, your rebellion is doomed to fail. If all of the Rokaj rise against you, you will never hunt us all down in our mountains. Even if you win, my people will hate you. You will no longer be able to soften us into uselessness. I have already won. Really, Wolf, you are choosing to die? We will kill you if we can. If we fail, it doesn't matter. All will be inspired by our courage. If you'd come to me honestly, I might have been able to help you. We asked your queen for help for years. We were ignored, even if we weren't. It is the destiny of the Rokaj to be free. If we don't act now, our deep truth will be forgotten forever. Ah, yeah, I'm ready. Ella's warriors begin to step forward, but she stops them. No, this is a new age. I demand new roles. I will spare you, prince. I say you can leave, but only, only if you growl. Get on your knees, back for your life. Raza Suarum starts to speak, but she cuts him off. You have no grown old and weak Suarum. I hold the deep truth. Now, will you live, prince? Then back. Please, I beg you, please spare me. Heaven doesn't growl. The gathered warriors of the Rukaj nod approvingly. Raza Elha says, I thought as much. Honestly, I would have been disappointed if you said otherwise. What good would my sacrifice be if you were weak? At last, it is it is time. Strength will be tested. A warrior's attack. Well, let's see about that. Rasa Elha, purity, cave, okay. There are a few more. 
but uh, should still not be an issue. So let's see. Oh, they also have more hit points than the others. Um, oh, and, and they have more mana resist. Ooh. Okay, this might actually be more more problematic than I thought. Okay. So here they will not fight each other. Man Earth is 20%. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Resisted. Let's try again. My doggy. Alright. So Rasa Elha only has 600 hit points. Um, and uh, what about stunning? 90%, so that's not going to work. Um, we should try and attack multiple. So let's go there and use this. We will attack three and cause some bleed. Nice. Repairs. In range. Yeah, this is uh, nasty. Um, still preparing. All right. We have. Some scrolls, but not with that character. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, there, and then we use this. Yeah, nice. Um, let's heal here. Unfortunately, we also can't shoot anymore now. Well, we can shoot in this direction. Yeah, let's do that then. Prepares, prepares, prepares. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we need to heal. Yeah, uh, the damage here is uh, nasty. Maybe the fight is already over once Elhard dies. But I doubt it. Switch around. Okay, we need to heal again. Mm. But we also need to stun. I will risk that we are not healing now. Critical, that was very nice. Ah, nice. Okay, so this side is covered. And here we will use a miner here. We can also use one energy potion now. Battle medic and we can heal again. Nice. Die! Uh. 
When Rasa Elha takes a mortal wound, she is not surprised, not angry. Once she was the first to stand against Haven, her fate was inevitable. She dies like, dies like a true roe. She falls to her knees and looks to those outside the circle. It is not too late, she gasps. Remember the wolf, be free. Her staff falls to the side, she collapses, dead. Another traitor to Haven has fallen, one of hundreds, thousands. Someday she will only be a line in a history book, even if that. Nah, we still have plenty to fight. Need to heal. And let's kill this brute first. Mm. <laughs> we can attack all three by standing here. Yes, yes. And there is a bleed. Ah, we lost purity. Okay. No, it's not great. This is nice. Okay. Mm hmm. Cool. All right, let's get rid of the bleed. And there's another bleed. Um. Hmm. We are using this again. Okay. Now we also have a skeleton here. Suppressing. Um. This works without killing any of my own yeah. energy conserve. Okay. Alright. Um, our skeleton is dead, so we should renew that one. Um, but we also need to get rid of that and heal, so... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Stun resist 60%. 70. 70. 70 and of course this costs two mana each time so maybe we should just focus on single enemies stun risk is 70 percent we can also use that we can also try to stun and do more damage here slow Ah, the skeleton is still alive. Yeah. Okay. Um, mana. Yep. Okay. 
So next bleed should... Uh, I'm not sure if that's... Well, he has got two bleeds. No, it's a blessing and a ble bleeding. Uh, not sure if that's enough. This one will die for sure. No, it's also 26. Mm. Haste bleeding. Ah, nice. Here. I think this one is extremely dangerous. But I can't kill this orb without... Well, actually I can with moving away. Now I can't hit them anymore. Let's try this. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm running out of mana at some point. I mean, this side went fine, but there's still plenty to do. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's enough. I hope so, and I will attack this guy instead. Uh. Nine, yeah, okay, so that should also be enough. Mm. Oh. Okay, so we need a new skeleton. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't want to attack my own guy there, of course. He's going to die with the next attack. I'm not sure if she will... Yeah, let's, let's use that. Yeah, unfortunately, out of range. Mm. It's getting a problematic now. And out of range. Let's pot away. Uh, okay, that's not working. Small here. Ah, and bleed. So I need to heal her now. Otherwise, she's going to die. Yeah, bad situation now. Ah, 
Ah, there are too many. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we need to here. Why we just try and get away for now? And use this. Okay. I can also move away, but he will probably get pulled back again. We also need to resummon stuff. Okay. Yeah. Energy concern. Okay, so they should both die now. Um, that's really nasty. Bleeds are terrible. <laughs> and they are all causing bleeds. Yeah, I'm stuck with just healing myself now, which is pretty bad. It's not going anywhere. Uh, we need to take someone over, but of course, man resist 90% is uh, pretty bad, so... And we are completely out of mana for all the rest. I don't think we should even attack. Well, we need to attack the skeleton. Hmm. This might just result in lots of safe scumming because I don't see how you can solve that battle in a more efficient way. Yeah, now my characters are going to die one by one. Because I just can't can't heal them enough. So this will result in self-scumming. I don't see any any other option. Now I can heal up a bit beforehand. Mm. 
Uh, okay. Let's save. One more time. Okay. So, yeah, we need to... Um, to get the mind control of some random enemies, otherwise it will not work. be able to get four by going there. Uh, five. I will just try that. I don't think that I will hit him, but I don't know. No, it's fine. Okay. Of course, we need all. We need to kill Elha as well. I will not attack purity for now. That might be one of my biggest assets in this fight. Okay, um, maybe I should also not focus on Elha and instead focus on killing the others first because of the massive damage they will do afterwards if they just don't die. <laughs> um, let's create a skeleton there. So we have got two stuns. Probably no point in casting the stun again. Let's do, use that instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bleeding, 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 bleeding. Okay. The skeleton is still alive. Uh, I mean, the chance is so low that it works. But if it works... single foe. There's no point in that. Mm. It's once between waves, a stunning shock wave. I don't think that this... Oh, okay. This was far more than I expected. Okay. This just stunned everyone. Okay, 
So I can work with that. Um, yeah, the focus fire should still be on L, huh? Okay. Um, we can already use that as long uh, and heal as w ah no I can't cast anymore. Okay, that was stupid. Um, attack and. Yeah, bleeding. Not nice. Uh, he's going to die rather soon. Okay, we can go there. Ah, oh, it's a lot of range. Um, okay, shit. So the stun. Um, well, first up, let's do that again. So they are all inactive for now. Mm. Now this was not going to work even if I go further. No, this should work. Like this. Energy conserved. Okay, nice. One over there. Mm, we could use AoEs, but I think it's more useful to get to L soon. Bleed. Mm -hmm. um, first we need to get purity. Okay. Uh, so now we can try and stun them all. Okay, well, that didn't work, but I mean, this was down to luck. So yeah, there will be a lot of safe scumming in this fight, as I mentioned. Um, and this start was also not the best, I guess. There are some moves now which I basically learned to do. Um, like this again. Now let's try. Elha. Man resist ninety percent. What happens if we try that? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that was luck, but yeah, that's something you can achieve with safe scumming. Um yeah. Okay. Um switch move.
Okay. Now, he is still in a bit of a problem here. So, let's port out. Yeah. Okay, that's actually nice. Was useless by that guy. I don't think that the charm will hold very long. We can try to move on the other side so that Elha is the most left one and gets attacked by all the left side and we then just kill the right side. Now this, yeah, Ralph is a problem now, so we need to mm, try and avoid hitting him. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Energy conserved, nice. Down again. And a new bleed. Nice, nice. Um, we still have a skeleton to cast, so... I should do that. Ah, actually, we need to try this. Okay. Yeah, let's try and kill them as quickly as possible. Yes. I mean, the fear is still active. Okay, let's try again. One. Ah, 20% it's not working. think we should stun anymore at this point. Mm, nah, okay. Well, that was Project Elha, but uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can just repeat that and hope that it works again, which it probably won't, but... Well... It, sh it shouldn't work two times in a row, but um, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so that's step one, which basically needs to work. 
Then we need to move over with all characters to the right side and have her attacked if possible. Energy conserved. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we will do the same as before. Go here. And attack. Energy conserved. Again, the fear. Hmm. Okay. It's probably of no use to take over purity at this point when it's in fear anyways. Mm. And he needs to do better attacks than before. I mean, this is fine, but this is only using one mana. Uh, yeah, or we just keep doing punctual damage. But best it would be to stand here. So maybe I should just port myself over for one mana. No clear path. That's not a problem. Maybe it is a problem. Why isn't that I am okay? Now this will not work this turn, I guess. Yeah, but this is still fine. Mm-hmm. And... One of them is stunned already, so let's use poison again. Okay. I mean, still in fear. Again, resist. Ah, nice attack. Now it actually makes sense to stay here. Nah, I'm not sure if that was so useful, but... Okay, we can try this again, but we can also just try to charm someone else. The chances are super low. Now maybe we should start stunning them, but we also need to kill them first. Um I 
Okay. Nö. Why is this not working? And uh, um. So, Raza Elha is also not controlled anymore. And this didn't work three times now. I'm not sure what the... Oh, has a resist of 60% now. Okay. Okay, I mean, we need to take over someone. This is not worth it anymore. I mean, yes, we only have a 10% chance. But if this is not working, I have no chances anyways. So, that needs to work. We need to take over someone, otherwise um, we will fail. Mm. Okay. Uh, actually, we can... Yeah, use this. Need to heal now. And here we It's a ton of damage. Now we need to spend one additional turn just to get away from here. This has to work. I mean, not right now maybe, but in one of the future <laughs> turns. Magical armor 37, so maybe it just makes no sense that he attacks Elha. This should just go through. Yeah, okay, so I can maybe work with that. Mm. We can heal the construct. to heal again. Okay. So both mages are down now. Down here now. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, okay, evasion, all kinds of stuff. Evades. Yeah. New construct. We need to heal. And we need to ah nice okay so now now we do have uh, a chance again some perspective mm -hmm. okay. We should probably kill this sphere, but it has a magical ev evasion of 75%. So we can just try and flee and have this sage fight. Okay. Yeah, let's use the heal now. That's that's too critical here. Mm-hmm. Another heal. We need to already work on the next spot. Uh. Mm -hmm. this then stun risk is 70% let's try kill him as soon as as quickly as possible five turns remaining So he should, uh, might die, but not necessarily, so let's use that again. Uh, okay. Our alum construct is still there. We might need that little bit of mana for for healing. <sighs> this sphere is not um, not any danger. Because it's not moving. But it will take forever now to... ...to kill these without spells.
Now nah, we will lose him very soon. Now this is of course also costing mana. Now yeah, he has a chance that he's not actually consuming the stuff. Now we can. It takes too long to kill them. We need to get another... Oh yeah, exactly. I'm not sure how... I mean, in theory, I should not be able to get these. With these percentages, mental resist 90%. So I'm not sure... Maybe because they're level 21 and I am 22 that I've got a bonus there. Okay, this looks much better now. So the this section should be okay now. This is still taking two turns. Mm. I'm not healing yet. Okay. Yeah, is this enough now to kill them all? Mm, this looks fine, but we will lose him very soon. Should I risk to take over another one? Or should I rather fo focus on heal now? Well, focus is a strong word, right? I can only heal one time. Basically, I think for heal it's still too early. I will try my luck here. Haha, <laughs> okay, now I this should work. I think I can. No, nah, okay, this was. Okay. He's got five energy, which is also not a ton. One turn. He should stay at max distance and And I should only heal them, heal him if it's really necessary. Yeah, we lost this sage there. I think that's fine. Stunned. We can use this item at some point. Joins the fight. Oh, that's a slow one. But as long as we... Yeah, I don't think I profit enough from that just yet, so I'm not using the item at the moment. Okay. 
Mm. Okay. Um, we should focus on this sage now. But with great caution. And this skeleton is... I mean... Nah, nah let's kill it. We can also summon a new skeleton, which is probably the more sane option in this case. Instead of um, trying to... Oh. Oh. Okay, first we need to... No, not with him. Mm. Yeah, he needs to die first. No. Oh, okay. That was not much. Yeah, but we are losing our allies now. Uh, so let's get a skeleton there. Maybe get some space. By walk, get some time by walking to this side here. Ah, okay, we lost him as well. Yeah, now I think it's a great time for this ability. Now whether or not it will work... It did not really work. Um, okay. That might be... A bit deadly for him now. Mm. We also don't know no abilities left. I mean, he could drink something. Okay, nice. Okay. Vulnerable. Uh. He is dangerous, but he's also still completely full. Right, so, okay, so we can move away here at least. And yeah, it's time to heal. It's too risky now. Mm, you also don't have any scrolls. No scrolls on the mage. This might also mean that once we have um, no scrolls here either. 
once we have some bleed, we cannot do anything against it and have to wait. We should probably call a new skeleton with our two energy. Giving us a little bit of time. Ah, nice. Mm, forces your foe to dance. Mm, can only be played once on each voyage. We should probably use that. Okay. Resisted. Oh, great. Okay. Um, let's use the skeleton now. Nice. Mm, and there's the bleed. So. Without, well, he actually has one mana left for healing and here as well. So, let's use that for curing. Mm. Yeah, we need to kill the skeleton, but first we need to kill him. Drink. No. Well, one scroll for resurrection. Uh, okay. We still have enough mana for ah for one more skeleton yeah. i mean this skeleton is busy with the construct so we will ignore it for now oh and it's vulnerable nice Okay, one more sage. Oh, this was... I didn't see that it switched over the character. something let me quickly save uh, in a ending yes all right Poof. now we got some energy back the final crop of bodies is carried off there is a long moment of silent respect. As Raza Elha's body is removed, everyone, even the other Razas, bow their heads in respect. During the pause to recover the stolen banner of Haven. It's not right to leave it up here. Raza Soharum steps forward. It's done. Raza Elha was defeated. But she falls a true warrior of our people. I declare before all of the Rokaj that Haven has shown its strength. 
make this known all throughout our lands. The surviving attendees are not pleased with this annon announcement, but you have no doubt they will obey the will of the High Lethar. You have kind words for Asa Elha? She had a vision. She saw the deep truth of the Rokash. She died to maintain it. I think she was flawed. I wish she had followed a different path. Still, her name will be carved forever into the stones of this place. She will be remembered as one the gathered row not. The challenge is done. All our provinces have spoken. Those who wish to test your strength have done so. You have prov proved worth in the way of the row. We can all believe that you have our blood in your veins. All that is left is my decision. Your decision? A decision about the rebellion. A small army waits at the ice gate, waits to decide what I say about their cause. They are determined to emerge and attack Haven. That is the true purpose of this meeting. They have asked me to bless them. They want me to tell the provinces of the Rukash to join them in their way. They want me to ask the Rukash to go to war. You need ma to make them stop completely. I have great authority over the row. I am trusted to keep the deep truth, yet my power is not absolute. The rebels are determined and plan. They gave up everything to come to the ICRM peaks. They will not just go home now. The question is, will I help them or not? What have you decided? A long, suspenseful moment passes. You look at the gathered warriors and see that they are now unsure. Your victory here has left them wondering if they have any chance against Haven. You, of course, know that they don't. Finally, Rasa Suharum says, I do not bless the rebellion. Each province must decide on its own whether to aid the rebels. I will not help or hinder them. I hope that they don't, but their row must look in their own hearts and decide what future is worth dying for. I am a child of the row and I ask you to end the rebellion. If I tried, they would not listen. Don't worry, Prince. Your actions here will speak very loudly. That is not enough. This is all I can do. And your view of Haven? I don't know why ha Queen Sharon left us to neglect after Consort Damal passed. Grief, foolishness, some ra cunning plot? We will never know. I do know that it was a great blow. One that will be hard to forgive. Your own words and actions in our defense have been strong and constant. We do not doubt Haven's goodwill. You have done all you can in our land. Even now, the rebels are emerging from the ice gate. Soon, war will begin. You can't help us here. I must make a request of you. What do you want from me? Soon, you will be in Sharon's palace. That is the true center of power in the known world. That is where decisions about the future of the Rokash will be made. The Rokash in its heart wishes to be free. I ask you, Kodano, child of Damal, Prince of Haven, to remember this and be merciful. I will go home, but I will not make no promises about what I will do when I get there. I will stay in the Rokash. I can do more good here. I will go home and I will make sure to help crush the rebels. I will go home and I will win better treatment for the role. Rasa Soharum smiles. Then perhaps I was wrong. Your visit did do good. Tomorrow the battles will begin. Today I will make a moment to feel hope. The people of the Roe deserve justice. We yearn for freedom. When you are in your palace, please bring it to us. The gate to the south opens. The surviving Razas leave. The warriors begin to pack their goods and prepare to depart. Nobody wants to stay on this miserable peak a moment longer than necessary. Now at last, you have done all you can in the Rokage, and Fort Meadow 4, the portal home awaits. Alright. We can still visit the cities though, and maybe talk to them again. Warrior of the Row, let's see if there's anything in these buildings. Nope. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. 
Okay, what happens now if we go to, let's say, not Glacier Keep, to Etzalam? Well, there's n nobody there, anyways. Um, let's go to Iskali. And check if they have anything new to say. I mean... This guy challenged... Well, this actually wasn't there to challenge. I have come to visit Iskali. North and Kronos, what does Master do? North and Kronos. Nothing here to do. Cylon. Guard. There's Rabila. What do you have to say? Arabila is still at work in the meeting hall. He is still a hunter and a woodsman, ill at ease indoors, but someone wanted him here for a reason. As acting Raza, I will continue to hold court. The words sound st stiff and alien coming out of his mouth. I want to talk about Prover Krug. There is nothing else to say. You received the challenge. You will act. You will go home. Talking about Prover Krug happens on Prover Krug. It's not very satisfying, I have to say. Okay, let's go to this one. I mean, if they l they try to kill me, kill me, I would rather send some assassins or whatever, or just challenge them and kill them right away. I mean, now there's really no, no point in having them alive and govern these regions. If they want to kill me, Chief Murph. Ah, for Priscilla's one was my city. Yeah. I don't want to be here. Um, Let's go here. We still have... Eight days to get this 100 uh, day thing. Alright. La Vita. Mm, future of the role. Alas, we are talking about the judgment of the Hylitha. It is the business of Ruva Krug. I can't discuss it here. I have made all decisions for the good of my people, so I have you. Soon you will leave and we will all be forced to face the consequences. And we already did that. Um, I can't even talk about that. Yeah, that's not really super satisfying. I mean, having them still alive is kind of stupid. I mean, especially from from this perspective of this strict rule queen of, of Queen Sharon and so on. Um, maybe they, I mean, they really, or Spiderweb really wants to have this kind of streamlined so that the differences at the end are not that huge I mean no nah. okay let's go there and um, then we will leave I mean we do have an impact on this uh, land and we will probably get some something different at the end but still
You notice that Chief Cestus is holding court in the audience hall to the north. When she catches your eye, she waves you forward. She wants you to come advise her, another demand in a limited time. Well, we might as well do that now. Chief Cestus welcomes you back to her hall. She looks utterly miserable. It takes you a moment to see why. A young old woman is rag dress, in a rag dress is slumped in one of the chairs. She looks like she is from the Lodaga. She has been weeping. Chief Cestus looks up at you, relieved that someone is here to help her. Cestus, who is this? I, I think you should talk to her yourself. It is a difficult situation. Who are you? She looks up at you. You can see traces of mostly healed bruises on her face. I am Altra Altaine. She stands up, trying to regain some of the dignity of the Rokaj. I am one uh, of the Lodaga. I am here to ask for Sanctuary. Sanctuary? What do you mean? I know much of Haven, of your queen, of wise Princess Delia, who gives advice. I know you would not ignore me. When I was young, I tried to find ways to leave the Lodaga, but I failed. So I was given a marriage. I want to leave my husband, but it is not allowed. I flee him. I run here to ask for a new safe home, for sanctuary. Altine, tell me about your husband. He is a brute. He is ignorant. I have risked everything to flee him and walk here. Altine, how did you try to leave the dagger? I studied as much as a girl as, uh, as a girl is allowed. I showed some talent that has many times to join the Eurudico, but I fell short each time. So I fell back into the masses of the low dagger. I was married to a brute. Chief says this is actually a thing Haven normally gives. Ah, uh, well, I suppose we are Haven. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> However, sanctuary is rarely given, and only for issues of great political import, not just when someone is having troubles with their culture, no matter how unpleasant. What do you want, Altine? I want to go to Haven. I will study, I will work, I will do whatever I can. Just don't let me bury it in the low daga, please. Chief Cestus, any thoughts on this? She wishes that you wouldn't ask. I must be honest, if you take her away, the Rokai will see this as an insult to their traditions. They will be angry. In another time, we might be able to withstand it. But now, she sighs. Altine, why can't you stay in the Rokaj? She turns to face you, though she doesn't move without difficulty. I have talent, I have kindness, I want to be like you, oh, your princess Delia. I want to find a way to learn and use that learning. Cestus, what exactly does Altine's husband say? Um, we have received message. His clan are successfully sto successful stone workers in the Lodaga. He apologized for the difficulties they have caused. If we return Altine, we will pay. He will pay us well in quality building stone. I have made a decision. Altine stands tall and adopts a proud, stoic expression. She does not expect anything good to happen. Chief Cessus mutters, "If she doesn't return home, staying in the Rokai will be impossible. Vendettas, you know." Also, in the past, I have been encouraged by the palace to not get involved in these little squabbles. Mm. Send Altane back to the Lodaga. Put Altane to the next ship to Haven. Altane blows deeply. Cessus gives orders and guards take her out of the hall. He says, a noble choice, but one that will... E? A noble choice uh, gives orders and guards take. A noble choice, but one that will anger the Lodaga greatly. Very brave. I will see that it is done. Maybe that was the guard. What is necessary for me to be involved in this, Hestus? Was it necessary? I don't know. I suppose I could have turned her away. Trust me, I have turned back many like her before. It was good to have someone else take on the burden for once. I'm done here. Understood. Thank you for sharing my burden, Prince. But well, we can also move out and in again. Maybe there's... No, there's no, nothing new. Miranda. The Queen is... Uh, we need to talk about the three governors. Uh, four Razas. I met the Razas of the Halifa. I command... He commanded me to prove a crook. Mm. What? I think I accidentally... What is the quest now? Queen's Wish. Report to General Miranda to Fort Meadow. The four Razas. I met the Raza. Commanded me to go to prove up Krug. Uh, I feel like I should answer this challenge. We already answered this challenge.
I've made the judgments on all governors and received the petitions or I've completed my mission. Mm. Then Miranda checks the records, then she double checks them. A moment of tense silence, she grins. It is true, you are finally done. All Rasas answered, all governors judged. Now you can return to Charon's pa palace. The portal in the northern hall will open for you. You can go and never return. Then our true work can begin. The true work? We have coddled the Rokai too long, accepted too many insults. Once you are safely away, we are going to make them pay for the insolence. I don't know if this war could be avoided by you traveling to prove a could be avoided by you traveling to prove a crook. It doesn't matter. This is incorrect. This makes no sense. Nia. Hmm. We need to talk about the three governors. I met the Raza and wanted I've what is the Raza? Kuba Krug. The Queen has sent me back to give you orders regarding the Rokai. This makes no sense. I mean, this worked for the other thing, but not here. This one is still saying that I should talk to... All of Haven's generals of the Rook, I need to meet with Razas. Uh, maybe I can just use the portal now. The portal is open, glowing and ready to take you home. Now that your diplomatic mission is complete, you wonder if mother will allow you to return to the Rukai. She controls the portals after all. If you have anything else to do here, you might do it now. This one quest makes no sense, so I'm not sure if I'm breaking anything doing that, so I will just go home now. You return to Sharon's palace from the Rokage. Your mission complete, the garden is empty. No family, no guards. It's early still. You honestly expected a bit more of a reaction. You begin your search for someone to report to. This is a member... Uh, that's the guard. I don't need to talk to the guard. Okay, Princess Delia. At last, someone is here to greet you. Princess Delia is pacing back and forth in the middle of the throne room. You approach her, expecting a warm hello. It is only when, that when you get close that you see how upset she is. She turns and looks at you. You see the exhaustion and the tears. She leaps forward and throws her arms around you. Then, just as abruptly, she backs away. Korano, you have come back at last. The throne room guards are trying very hard to not notice any of this. I have returned from the Rokage and I have a report. What is wrong? She looks around the throne room, as if it takes a moment for her to remember where she is. Wrong. Yes, very, very wrong. All wrong! She wipes her eyes with her sleeve. It is strange to see her so uncomposed, especially out of private chambers. That must to wait for a moment. Mother is ill. She had a, a, a setback. A setback? What happened? Mother grew very ill this morning. I visited her. There were no healers in the chamber. I found her pale. She wouldn't respond to... She has to pause for a moment. I thought she was dead. I called for the healers. They revived her with her medicines. It took time. One of the bottles she needed was empty, you see. Where is Sutter? He is not here yet. He's fighting in the... I, I forgot where. Some wastes on, the, on some border. He has been summoned. He will be home soon. How is she faring? All right, she's conscious. They say she will soon be as she was yesterday. They have checked all their medicines and mixtures. One of the bottles was empty. Mother drank too much of it. A terrible accident. She has been dizzy and confused a lot lately, you see. She drank too much of it. How could she drink too much of medicine? As I said, dizzy and confused. She must have felt unwell and thought to treat herself. A sad accident. But at least she is well. The sages will make sure it doesn't happen again. Mother is unwell, very unwell. 
I don't think mother is as sick as you make it sound. So mother is very ill. If mother is so ill, we need to work harder to help her. Delia is now furious. So easy for you to say. Mother has you and Sutter away, uh, has you and Sutter away all the time, trying to fix every neglected problem in that her time left. That damn list of hers. So you're adventuring in the Rokaj and I'm trying day by day to help her. She closes her eyes and gathers herself. You don't understand. You didn't know the truth. Now you do. And you're home at last. I'm back from the Rokaj. Yes, uh, you two look different. A dangerous adventure in the Rokaj. Another rebellion. Something to keep your, our soldiers busy at last. Uh, at least. Would you like to hear my report? <laughs> I do not. She then she chokes a little. Tears about are about to resume. It has been a long day here, Cortano. I need to rest. I need to think. Your report has to go elsewhere. What? Who do I talk to? Mother. Mother said she wants to see you the moment you got back. It is an order. You can give her your report, she adds bitterly. Good luck getting her to actually listen. I will see you soon. I must... She turns uh, turns and runs out of the throne room. So far, it's the same like the not the previous episode, the one before that. I just left early and um, to see what happens. So, um, so far, it's the same. Um, can we pay her a visit? Nope. Mm, okay. You enter your mother's chambers and see her lying in the bed. She looks sickly and exhausted, worse than you have ever seen her. Still, when you enter, she insists on rising to greet you in the proper regal form. As servants assist her in becoming presentable, one of her healers tucks your sleeve from the side. Hello, prince, may I speak with you? How fares my mother? You may have heard. She has had a difficult day. She is just now recovering. She will be able to speak with you. She only asked for a moment to prepare. How did my mother drink a whole bottle of medicine? She asked to be alone, so that she could sleep. Her medicines were routinely left by her bed. We imagined she was tired and disoriented and drank it by mistake. The queen has had difficult periods. She is in one of these right now. If there are similar, if there is a similar incident, you will pay. Is she very? She's very ill. I'm afraid so. It is a wasting disease, as you know. Slow progressing, painful. It is sad when the diseases of commoners affect the greatest among us. Yes, the sickness does not see a crown. I was told that she was well. What is the cure? I do not think a cure is available. Magic can cure wounds, but not diseases. Life must reach its end. I am. Then Queen Sharon interrupts him. Kodano, I'm ready. Come to see me, my child. Let me hear of your victories. The Queen motions you forward. She is standing upright, but with difficulty. Sweat begins to bed out of her forehead. She says, My child, you return victorious. I'm proud. It is good to have you home. As she waits for a response, she carefully lowers herself back into bed. Are you feeling well? Of course, I am completely well, she forces an unconvincing smile. I hope you haven't been listening to too many rumors. You know how caught can be. I'm ready to report about the Rukash. Yes, yes, of course. There is a long pause. You start to speak, but she doesn't seem to be paying attention. Her chin slumps towards her chest. Mother? There is a moment of great tension. The healers all lean forward. Then Mother returns to herself. She smiles. Wainly and tries to look healthy. I apologize, Kodano. I have not been myself today. I will take your report in a moment. She sips some water. You're looking well. <laughs> Delia is very concerned. It is her way. I raised a very attentive child. She's very concerned. Too much so. We had a minor mishap this morning. You drank a whole bottle of medicine. It was an embarrassing mistake. I am mortified, as you could imagine. My healers make a variety of potions for me to sip at different points at, of the day. I woke up too early. I was tired and drank from the wrong bottle. That is all. We, we will have to be more careful. It happened. It is done. Everyone was has learned lessons, she says. It will not happen again. I should give you some time to rest. Are you well enough to hear my report? Of course, I am still the queen and I will complete my tasks. 
She digs around in the blankets of a bed and fishes out her list of tasks, stained and crumpled. I am ready to learn about the rocage. She grabs a quill pen to write, though no ink is nearby. I completed my mission. There's unrest there, but nothing that requires your direct attention. The Rokai challenged me. I climbed to prove a crook and answered them. That could never happen. Challenge the child of Dharma? They would never dare. And you climbed that peak and someone attacked you? I don't understand. My role would never challenge us. It is the truth. She grows very confused. The Rokaj fighting us? I don't understand. How could this be possible? Delia, Sata, Damal, what is happening there? The lead healer walks forward and gently lays a hand on your arm. Your mother has a very long day. We still need to talk. The queen says, yes, we will. I need to understand this is just also strange. Just let me rest for a bit. She slumps back against the pillows and closes eyes. The lips... Uh, the list slips out of her hand. Alright. As you walk away from the queen's bedchamber, you hear disturbance, clanging, shouting. It's not battle, but something is definitely happening. The sounds come from the direction of the throne room. Miranda. When you enter the throne room, you are surprised to find General Miranda waiting for you. She is accompanied by an escort of soldiers. Some are Havenites, some are Rohr. Some have recently seen battle. General Miranda walks up to you and both... Prince, I am very happy to see you. I have urgent news. Welcome back to Haven, General. I am glad to be back for a few peaceful moments, but I won't be able to stay for long. Things have happened far faster than we expected. I'm here because we are in desperate need of orders. I have been looking for someone to report to, but nobody of your rank has been available. Give me a report. The traitors who challenged you and attack Haven are on the move. Their army has begun to descend from the High Lethal. They are small force, but fearless. As they head downhill, they are gaining recruits. Clans are joining them. In Lascara, General Angach is ready to launch a response. We have an army there, waiting to be unleashed. We can't fight these rebels. You know that some of these warriors have already been in skirmishes. You see scratches, scratched armor and bandaged wounds. And they had no time to make themselves more presentable. Do you need to speak with Prince Sutter? Yes, but he's not here. He's fighting in some border skirmish for far away. Fri Princess Delia is not to be found either. I am told the queen is not conscious. What we need can only be provided by royalty. The situation is urgent. What do you want from me? Your army in the gentle coast is ready to march to war. The blades are sharp. The will is strong. All they need is a command. Give the word, and we will begin to awe the Rokaj with a timely show of strength. That is usually what it takes to control these, those barbarians. I give the command, crush the rebels utterly, make an example of them so that nobody thinks we are weak. I give the command, fight the rebels, but carefully. Go slowly, minimize damage and casualties. The soldiers nod. General Miranda looks a bit less enthusiastic, but you can see the resolve in her eyes. Yes, the Rokaj is a stubborn place, normally only wishes Overwhelming force gets through those skulls of theirs. Yet, that is the old attitude. An attitude that brought us this rebellion. A change may be wise. It will be done. I could use more help with the situation here. I should return with you. General Miranda shakes her head. I'm w sorry, Prince. You would be very welcome, it is true. However, for the good of Haven, someone needs to be in the place to give orders. The soldiers... All salute. They are the standard pleasantries. Then they return to the portal. Back in the Rokaj war is beginning. Here you find yourself standing in the throne room, unsure of what your role is now. Mm -hmm. Now that the soldiers are gone, you wander around looking for someone to talk to or something to do. The place is eerily quiet. A few guards, no courtiers. courtiers. You find dust and cobwebs. The housekeeping has been neglected. Normally, the queen would never tolerate this. Eventually, you return to your bedroom to rest. You eat, drink, and shake off the exhaustion of your time in the Rokash. Three days pass, then the servant comes with a message. Prince Sata has finally returned. He is waiting in the throne room. So far, pretty much everything was the same. Besides of the little conversation with the queen, I 
don't remember that anything in the conversation with Miranda was different. At last, Prince Sutter has returned from whatever his latest mission is. He is sitting on Mother's throne. You have seen, never seen him do this before. If Mother was well, you doubt he would have dared. You see and smell that he is fresh from battle. He slumps forward, exhausted. Then uh, there are still dots of blood on his sleeve. It takes a moment for him to notice you are there. When he looks up at you, it is hard to read his expression. He is feeling nothing or too many things at once. He says quietly, Hello, Prince. I see you got here ahead of me. Here, to help to clean up messes, I am sure. I am back, ready to assume my duty. Welcome back to the palace. Mm. Welcome back to the palace. Thank you. I see that you all did well without me. No need to wait for me when important things were to be done. While I chop and hack at poor malcontents in faraway lands. What I'm good for. You might as well catch me up. What about these rumors I'm hearing? Your beloved queen almost died. Mother drank a bottle of medicine and almost died. You tell him the story again, an eerie lack of reaction. He thinks for a bit, then he asks several questions, none of which you have the answers to. Finally asks, and what do you think of that little crisis? Mother is very ill. It is true, she is. I thought I knew the truth, yet I think maybe Delia was hiding the truth of the Queen's sickness even from me. Mother still has a list of tasks. I spoke with the doctor. You tell what you learned. Oh my. You mean people around here are telling the truth? I'm glad I got back before we fell back out of the habit. Mother still has a list of tasks. Yes, she wants to go to the end, thinking she has left Haven calm and prosperous and perfect. I don't want to be the one who tells her that she is grinding us all up for an impossible dream. It was an accident. It won't happen again. Everyone says it was an accident. I am sure they do. The palace is operating as it always does. Don't worry. You have told me the correct story and I will be sure to repeat it. And the Rokaj has gone to war, have they? Not your fault, it's just what they do. Still, I'd like to hear what happened from your mouth. The Rokaj is in rebellion, General Miranda came to get orders. Now he sits up straight. You see an actual emotion in his eyes. Unfortunately, it is rage. Oh, she did? Did she? And her future king was delayed a few days, so she ju just took orders from whoever was standing around. You are being insulting. He jumps to his feet. He shouts, you think you are ready to be king? You think you are worthy? I have been trained from birth. I have... He realizes that the guards are watching this tantrum. He tries to calm down. You should not have been asked. I am to be king. I had no choice. Nobody was else was available. It was the right for me to make the decision. I mean, I was in the Rokaj all the time, so I was right for me. You had the right, but it was not right. Don't worry, though. I am back. I am in charge. I will correct any errors you made. What do you think should be done? He holds up his sleeve and looks at the blood. I have a purpose. I am mother's dog of war. Go here, kill these rebels. Go there, kill these magical errors. Killing and more killing. Turns out that is what she made me for. I understand you let loose your our army. Good. I will make sure they are enthusiastic. They will crush the rebels. They will learn that King Sutter is not sentimental. Haven will not tolerate any more nonsense. Is Haven well? All mother can do is find things that are going wrong. She wants to leave this world thinking everything is taken care of. Peace everywhere. We all love each other. It's a natural desire. Uh, as her children, we owe it to her to help her believe that lie. You should be king. Are you sure you want to be king? Prince Sutter looks concerned. Why would you ask that? Why does and my wanting matter? I have a duty. I will fulfill it. That is all. Do you still have dreams of taking my place? It will never happen, brother. Remember, it is I who will have to decide whether Haven is on the right path. Though I will count on you and Delia to give your opinions from time to time. Haven is confused and neglectful. It must reform. Haven should not rule the world. It's neglectful. It must reform. Sutter nods. I have seen far more of our results of late. Our empire is huge and it grows awkward. Over the last few years, we have looked weak. Trust me, when I wear the crown, there will be reforms. 
As for you, you are a prince. You are my brother. You are special. I will always find a proper use for you. What must I do? Prince Sata looks at you, waiting, uh, weighing you, trying to decide how much she should offer at this point. However, before you can speak, he's interrupted. Princess Elia runs into the room. Princess Elia walks into the throne room and gives you a nod. A proper diplomatic smile is passed on her face. Passed it on her face. Pasted on her face. That's the word. This is the first time you have seen her in three days. At last, she has emerged and she has made herself calm and presentable. She embraces Sutter. Welcome home, brother. You... She looks at his state of dress. You should have had time to clean up. Still, I'm sure you will be forgiven when mother comes. She turns to you. My brother, I must apologize for the display I gave you when you came home. I lost my composure. It will not happen again. You have been under too much pressure. I understand. You have had to be very strong. I... She looks away. It has been hard. I try to help mother. Do I do her research, her demands? It has been lonely, difficult. She looks back at you and smiles. Still, it is my duty as a princess and I am compensated. As for you, I hope you well, your well-earned rest restored you. How are things in the castle? About to change quickly, mother is on the way. Sata asks, what? After what happened? She's holding court? Delia responds, the queen does what she wants and she makes sure we do what she wants as well. How is mother? She has recovered since her unfortunate accident. She has some energy. She is in surprisingly good spirits. I am sure having all of her children under her roof helps greatly. How is Sutter? She looks at your brother in need of a bath and rest for both, both body and mind. The queen has been having you do a lot of fighting. Sutter says, it feels like my only purpose, killing. It, it eats away at you. It is good to be home. What do you want, Delia? I want so much. I confess it. My life, it has strayed far from what I wanted. What it should be. I must be patient. What is wanted of me? The queen will be here soon. You can ask her yourself. Did you have some, ta some of your own ideas for what you should do? I need to return to Ruja, uh, Rukaj. It is facing war. That will not be possible. For all of its sentimental value, it is a minor vassal. There are greater problems to face. You will not return to the Rukaj for many years, so if ever. She tilts her head. My hearing has almost been sharper than yours. Don't you hear? Mother comes. Look to the doors. Before long, you hear a possession approach. Delia and Sata move to the her side. The guards straighten their spines. The eastern doors open. Uh, straighten their spines. The eastern doors open. A strong herbal medicinal smell enters the throne room. Queen Sharon walks through the doors. Her healers wait behind in the hall, waiting to leap in and tend to her if needed. The queen makes her unsteady way to her throne. It is fortunate that Sata is not in, or there might be awkwardness. She sits and looks at you. The final audience regarding your Rokash adventure is about to begin. Mm. You approach Sharon, Queen Sharon III. Your brother and sister bow their heads. You note that the queen has her list of tasks hanging from her hand, covered with scrawled notes and heavily crumpled. Sometimes she forgets that she is holding it. She says, this audience is to be cel to celebrate Prince Kodanor. I sent my child on a difficult mission in the Rokaj. This mission is... This is a celebration. Sata and Delia look at each other. My children are home. Inspect her carefully. You take a good look at her. Her face looks strange. Her eyes have a glassy manic quality. She must have insisted that the healers give her a mixture to get her through this audience. She wanted very much to celebrate your return properly. Are you well, mother? She is silent, but you see her eyes start to focus. When she speaks again, some of the old strength has returned. What? Yes, of course I am, she snaps. I have heard the troubles. Uh, I have had troubles all annoyed, yet I am the Queen of Haven. Don't forget it. We need to talk about the bottle of men. I understand. I am glad. I hope all understand. Haven is challenged and it will respond with confidence and strength. So, Kodano, let us resume your conversation. You have a report about the state of the Rokaj. The Rokaj is in rebellion. 
I have had reports from the field from our generals. Mirana and Angach were quite forthcoming, both about the situation and your contributions. The rebels have advanced quickly and warriors join them every day. Loyal armies in the higher valleys have, are already being attacked. There is death among the rebels and those loyal to us. When you returned to the palace, General Miranda asked you to give the order to counterattack. How did you respond? I ordered that the row must oh, uh, row, mm, but I ordered that the row be reclaimed, but slowly and cautiously. A moderate politic choice, my child, a clever choice for other lands. The row, alas, will see our hesitation as weakness. Sutter tries to say something. You can still see his resentment that you have orders in that you gave orders in his place. And his resentment when the queen ignores him. I fear your orders will cause more violence, yet your instincts are solid. They only need minor refinement. You were the child I raised. I approve. To finish this audience, I must ask you some questions. You know that Sutta and Delia seem eager to speak. Sutta, something to say? Sutta's exhaustion gets the better of him. He looks at the queen, his hands tremble. Mother, I have now spent years of traveling from one end to the Empire to the other, fighting a countless series of battles. He holds up his arms, showing off the blood still splattered on his sleeves. Yet, when the time to give orders has come, the time that calls for a monarch, I was passed by. I was hunting pests in the wasteland, a job that should have been done by our soldiers. The queen is confused. You expect an angry response. She should crush Sata with a single cutting comment. Instead, she is just confused. Uh, of course, Sata, that sounds difficult. We'll talk about it later, dear. And this response leaves Sata as confused as mother is. Delia, something to say. Delia looks at mother's increasingly vacant eyes. She looks at her exhausted, unwashed Sutter. Then she looks at you. She looks like she doesn't recognize you. She says, in a quiet voice, I have nothing to say. I am only happy that you are all together again. She takes a step back. I am ready to answer your questions, mother. The queen looks at her list for a while, eventually finding a few notes. Most of your choices were adequate. Some were even close to wisdom. You replaced Governor Yvette with a nobody. Unfortunate. Her family is influential. We got plenty of tribute from her. An expensive bit of idealism. You try to say something, but Yvette's actions... Uh, but mother blows on. You replaced Governor Arto with... Uh, a row? Yes, it was past time for him to be replaced, but making a vassal governor is forbidden. And for good reason, I only hope... We do not pay too much for our impulsive react, uh, action. Poorly done. She is not interested in your response. And the, the petitions? The Razas asked for more than their due. Yet you prevailed. All the petitions of the Razas have been answered. Good, good. You did a lot for them. Not that they were grateful. What should trouble some people? And, and... She pulls a note out of her pocket and peers at it. They dared challenge you. They asked you to climb Prover Krug. They dared insist you prove Haven is worthy to deal, uh, to lead them as if they were not bound by treaty and debt. A ridiculous demands, but a good way to show strength. What did you do, child? I fought the challenge at Prover Krug. She smiles. For a moment, you remind me so much of your father. You made an unwise choice. You took a great risk. It will embolden our other vassals to challenge us, yet it will result in a less bloody rebellion. And you have your father's blood in you. How can I question that? One final question. You have been to the Rokaj recently. I have not. What is your opinion of your actions there? Let me ask a question first. Why has the Rokaj been so neglected for so long? Sata and Delia tends up. They give mother a worried look. The queen in turn takes a long time to answer. The words come to her very slowly. After Consort Damal died, I could not bear to think about the Rokaj. The loss of your father hurt. Then I was in the habit of not thinking about it. And then so much of this was my fault. She holds up her list. I made so many mistakes. I wish I could correct them. I, I have said enough about this. What do you say about the Ro? Haven has neglected the Rokaj. We should not have treated ourselves that way. Mm. Queen Sharon nods. True, of course. And now the prince? 
price for my mistakes will be paid in blood. We will crush this rebellion. We will execute the traitors. Then we will rebuild a better Rokash. Thanks to your help, we can start anew. You spoke wisely. Therefore, it is a pleasure to make my proclamation. A proclamation? I proclaim for your brave work in the Rokash that you are a hero of Haven. You have shown a lack of wisdom at times and you have much to learn. Yet you will have a position of great authority in our empire. Let these words be spread throughout our many lands. Saturn seethes with jealousy. Delia puts a calming hand on his arm. You hear her whisper. You will still be king. I could have done more. She holds up her list. We all can always do more. It is a hard thing to rule so hard. When Sutter is king, he will need all of our support. Sutter nods, remember this. And finally, I have a personal judgment to place on you. I have watched you so carefully. I must judge how good and loyal a servant to Aven you have been. What is your judgment? As she speaks, the queen is starting to sway uncertainly from side to side. The healers move closer to the door to the throne room. Still, she is determined to finish this audience on her terms. Not for the first time will you admire her iron will. I am sorry to have to say. Your words and actions have shown you to need much correction. You don't understand Haven's ways and I greatly disapproved of your words and actions. You will still... Be a favored servant, my child, but you have so much to learn. We will not forget it. Cardano, Haven needs to work hard. We need you to keep learning. Remember, you will need to give support. Give support? The queen turns and looks at Sutter. One day, your older brother will be king. It will. It is the greatest of challenges. He will need help, guidance, someone to challenge him. I know Delia will help him when she is not looking after her family to come. Sata looks at the queen as if he's never quite seen her before. Both he and Delia have increasingly wet eyes. The rest of the world has seen us weak. They see me as sick and incapable. Other rebellions are brewing. We face many new challenges. I need to know that you will help Sata when the time comes. I will help Sata as well as I can. Sata will still be king? She is confused. Sata scolds at you. Of course! Was there ever any doubt? The eldest will rule. The others will support. It is Haven's way. You must do your duty when the time comes. With that, I declare your mission and the Rokaj concluded. What will happen to the Rokaj? It is sad. Dama would be be ashamed to see it. Yet it must be done. The Rokaj is in rebellion. Haven will crush it. I am... Uh, no other ending is possible. They have spirit, but Haven's army is the most powerful in the known world. All that uh, remains is to see how much damage is done. Your words and words and actions will have an effect on that. We will we'll see soon enough. I want to return to the Rokaj. I want to help you complete your list. Mm, I want to return to the Rokaj. What? No, of course not. You had a, a mission there. It is done. The Grey and generals and soldiers will take care of it. That is why we have generals and soldiers. Now we can turn to... to... A face goes slack. A list slips out of hand. Mother! When she learns for, leans forward, you think that she's lost in thought. She keeps leaning forward farther. A father, she pitches forward in full view of the healers and the royal guard. She collapses in a pitiful pile on the floor. The healers search forward. The guards are behind them. Even after what has come before, Sutta and Delia are shocked. As the queen is carried away, you pick up the rem remnants of a list. The boots of, her gar of the guards have left it in tatters. Delia takes it away to discard it. Sutta walks up to mother's throne and stares at it. Then he leaves for his room to clean up. You stand alone in the throne room, looking for something to do. All you can do, turns out, is wait for news. And... I turned off the music and I will retroactively put music to it, because otherwise this will create YouTube claims, because this music is not licensed in, in that way. I mean, obviously the, the developer will have licensed it, but I will get claims on YouTube. Um, Queen Sharon III is carefully removed from the throne room and returned to her chambers. By the way, achievements incoming. Prove a crook dominated. 
Um, everyone knows the routine by now. Guards and healers return to their business, forgetting that anything happened. You spend some time with your brother and sister, some talk, a meal, trying to forget about everything that happened. Mm. One second. Alright. Then life resumes. There is a crisis after all. All of the Queen's old orders for Sutter and Delia are still active. Of course, a few days of rest and treatment restore the Queen to functionality. She is soon back to give orders, forever. Uh, however, <laughs> there are far fewer of them and only about major issues. She does not ask what happened to her list. She does not begin a new one. Almost all of her meetings and audiences take place in the chambers now. The guards watch over an empty throne room. A few days pass, Sutter grows more and more restless. It seems like he wanted a time for peaceful rest in the palace. Instead, he broods and talks about the battles to come. Soon he says his farewells, straps on his armor and blade and departs. Delia continues to do research for Mother, more and more. The Queen asks for advice, she even manages to spend some days with you and see a few suitors. However, as time passes, she grows quieter, more subdued. Some days, she does not leave her chambers. That leaves you wandering the palace. Sometimes you wonder if you should be going somewhere, but the portal is always close to you. You get more rest and entertainment than you need, but boredom causes you to pa pace the halls. As time goes on, courtiers and officers and visiting officials come to the palace to meet with royalty. For lack of others to talk to, you find yourself asked to give a lot of orders and rulings. Somehow, news spread of mother's lack of confidence in you. They accept your judgments, but you can see they are already scheming to find ways around them. Many of those who come to the palace bring news of the rebellion and the Rokaj. From a distance, you watch the war unfold. The Rokaj was impressed by the way you acted when you were there. Your words and actions convince many that it is worthwhile to stay loyal to Haven. The rebels have difficulty recruiting allies. You went to prove a crook and answer the challenge. This settles many debates in Haven's benefit. This act of respect and courage causes far fewer to join the rebellion. Okay, this is a new text. Your orders to cautiously unleash the army of Haven were followed to the latter. The seventh army in the so Sutter did not do intervene here. The seventh army of the Rogue carefully emerges from the camp near Lascara, ready to show the Rogue what Haven's superior equipment and training can do. Their care and caution reduces the amount of death and destruction, but it is also but it also gives the rebels time to recruit allies and to establish positions. As a result, when battle is joined, it still ends up being a bloody and destructive affair. The High Letha is sparsely populated. Most of its power comes from the trust and respect the rest of the Rokhaj give it, gives it. Raza Swaram did not want to support the rebellion. He saw correctly how much destruction it would bring. Your actions enable him to convince the Halitha that this is not the time to fight. Many are angry, but a few do listen to him. Governor Ivana is able to stay in Jaja Jim. She speaks eloquently on behalf of Haven. Many clans stay off the battlefield based on her efforts. Okay, so this is now completely different, I think. Again, um, the episode before the last one is um, where lots of... Uh, where I went through this ending when I just left without having uh, done the final challenge. The Kranos Woods are grateful for your efforts calming their groves, though many druids want to fight for vengeance. The druid Paul Seplexa calls for calm and patience. Well, she's kind of dead, isn't she? Because I killed her in the la last fight. The newly ascended governor Evelyn replaces Yvette and immediately does his best to calm things with the Kranos Woods. Thanks to the groundwork you laid, he is able to do much to keep the clans from rebelling. The Kranos Woods rebel, but it is a small uprising, easily snuffed out. The angry stalkers and druids never have much luck recruiting help. They are hunted down in the name of the queen. 
The Lodar got grateful for your help defeating the brigands that had been tormenting them. However, because of your words and deeds, many decided that the Wolf's Raiders were actually fighting for a noble hawk cause. When the Roll learn that Raza Lavita will also serve as their governor, they are grateful. Governor Atu leaves in disgrace. Soon, the Wolf's Warriors descend into the Lodaga and the rebellion begins in earnest. Unfortunately, Haven has grown very unpopular in the Lodaga. Raza Lavita gives you an unpleasant surprise. The power you gave him is too tempting. He joins the rebellion. His new post gives him access to your faults and supplies and uses these to fight Haven. The rebellion is long and fierce. Haven's warriors are chasing dragons up and down valleys for a long time. Many are lost on both sides in an unending series of ambushes. When the rebellion is finally crushed, the Lodaga takes years to recover. When the battles have finally ended, Raza Lavita is finally captured. For his treason, he's executed in a very public way. This also... Yeah, I think with the ending... I, with his challenges at the end, I think they don't really make too much sense. Because... I mean, even if we le let him live, at that point, we should have replaced him, kicked him out right away at that point. So... That's that's kind of stupid. Um, yeah. As promised, you used your influence to affect the status of women in the Lodaga. Your orders passed through many layers of bureaucracy and neither Prince Sutter nor the Queen aid your efforts. Alas, your reputation is poor and you have little favor with the Queen. Also, the traditions of centuries are hard to uproot. In the end, you are unable to make any changes. Meh. The Gentle Coast is the wealthiest, least military, most loyal region to Haven and the Rokash. Nobody expected them to be very active in aiding the rebellion. Fortunately, the rebellion in the upper provinces is minor enough to be contained. Your army is able to spare your more, more loyal, wealthy subjects the worst of the war. There are those who are loyal to the wolf and they engage in sabotage, spying and the occasional murder. These traitors are hunted down and dealt with in a final and public fashion. Eventually, the war ends. The Second Great Uprising is utterly crushed. Ratha Soharum and those who wanted peace were right. Perhaps one day the Rukaj will have strength to repel Haven and regain its freedom. Not today. The war is painful and costly, but Haven's army manages to contain it to the most angry unstable corners of the Rukaj. Many areas are scorched and traumatized, but many others are spared. You will live to see the damage repaired. Your mother grieves the losses, but she knows it could have been far worse. In private, she expresses great gratitude to you for limiting the damage. Whatever disappointment she has is well hidden. Then the Rokai falls away from your thoughts. As time passes, you settle into the life uh, at the palace, being consulted, making decisions, enjoying the luxury of royalty. You have little favor with the queen. While you are sought out by Haven's officials to give orders and advisement, your words are usually ignored. This only results in more chaos. Meanwhile, the rest of the family is absent. Princess Delia stays quiet and remote. She still does her duty proving research in advice to your, you and mother when needed. She goes through all of the notions of life. Sometimes she reverts to her old self and you walk together in the gardens or borrow the portal to go somewhere interesting. Yet mother's decline takes a real toll on her and she feels responsible as unrest in your vassals grows. Prince Sutter openly prepares to become king. Half of the time he visits powerful lords, wealthy merchants and other potential allies. The rest of the time he tries to display strength and confidence by visiting destruction on those who visiting destruction on those who resist Haven's power. He has no shortage of targets. He spends little time back at the palace. You see that his work is aging him and you grow to miss his confident smile. When he is there, he is usually alone with Delia or the Queen. He avoids you as much as possible. And the Queen grows weaker. She spends more time in bed. She gives fewer commands. She relies on the three of you more and more. There are no more unfortunate accidents. Yet, her will is not entirely gone. She starts to talk about how she has one great regret. She never explained the Empire. She never claimed a vassal of her own. You try to keep her from taking on a new great project, but ta talking about it does revive her somewhat. You can only hope that she isn't too sincere. 
If she gives the order, it will be obeyed. She is still queen. Now all know of her sickness. If nothing else, events have brought truth to the world. In a way, it is a great relief. The rest of the world watches. They know the queen is dying. She has declared that Sutter will follow her. But the lords of Haven will have to agree. Some plot quietly to take power vassals who see weakness and distraction consider rebellion. Some actually follow the example of royal cars and raise their weapons. Violence begins to break out. The world grows slowly more chaotic. You try your best to fight the decay and reduce the violence. Since you lack the queen's favor, you end up figure of mockery of at court, though never to your face. You often find yourself powerless to act, and the worst lies ahead. At night, you have many dreams. Most of them are normal, you suppose. And sometimes, in your sleep, you return to the inns and beds of the Nisse. You remember you made a wish. It still waits to be granted. You always wake from those dreams in a cold sweat. Fortunately, they don't happen often, you think. So that is because in the first game, I um, wished to be king. And uh, I think this is carried over now. Uh, and is probably in the code we will have for Queen's Wish 3. Congratulations for reaching an ending to Queen's Wish 2, the Tormentor. If you carry your choices to the next game in the series, hang on to this code and enter it when you start Queen's Wish 3. And that's it. That was Queen's Wish 2. I think with the ending I expected a bit more, more changes when, um, when I now did this final challenge thing barely anything change, changed I mean yes we had the additional fights the additional dialogues and so on but um, in terms of the last screens I mean uh, the, these endings are nice in any uh, case like when you get like the result of all your choices even though you might not have expected what happens um, I think the most stupid thing was the one with Raza Lavita. I mean, and not killing the the Razas. That, I mean, they challenge me. I need to defend myself, but they get away with life. And they were saying it's down to the blood and whatever. That made no sense to me. And even if we let Raza Lavita Lavita live, he should have then been replaced by someone else. Maybe. I would have had the option, um, I'm not sure about that, well actually we might um, just see if we can replace him again, um, three governors, uh, Lodaga, uh, you have made a decision, mm, yeah. so we can't change that anymore, that's stupid, there's no why shouldn't we change, adjust our decision? I mean, he already betrayed us by at deciding against us in this last thing. So that makes no sense to me. So I would have expected a better outcome there in the end. It's a bit, uh, bit disappointing. But anyways, this was a Queen's Wish 2 overall. A nice game and I think I prefer it over Queen's Wish 1. Um, because it's not as artificially constructed it doesn't look as artificially constructed with the um, with the lands and also the the me mechanic with the fort is working and the resources is working uh, better now so thank you all for watching <laughs> especially if you are watching since the very beginning uh, it was uh, quite a journey and uh, also shout out to a uh, penty who also uh, commented uh, a lot of the videos so thank you very much for staying with me and yeah that's it uh, for queen's wish 2 thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you again well not next time in terms of let's plays because i decided to at least for now not do a let's plays here anymore if i do let's plays again in english then they will be on a separate channel but you can still subscribe to this channel and i will continue doing reviews and some previews here. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.